Russia supplies oil directly to North Korea in exchange for weapons. Russia began providing direct oil supplies to North Korea, defying UN sanctions. In exchange for oil, Russia receives weapons according to the Financial Times. According to satellite images provided by the Royal United Services Institute, a UK think tank, at least five North Korean tankers visited the Vostochny port in Russia's Far East this month to obtain petroleum products. The shipments, which began on the 7th of March, are the first documented direct maritime shipments from Russia since the United Nations Security Council, with Moscow's approval, imposed strict limits on oil shipments in response to Pyongyang's nuclear tests in 2017. These oil deliveries constitute a full frontal assault against the sanctions regime, which is now on the brink of collapse, said Hugh Griffiths, former co-chair of the UN Sanctions Monitoring Group on North Korea. Ships flying the North Korean flag and classified as petroleum product tankers visited the same berth owned by a Russian oil company in the Vostochny port, where they appeared to be loading. Satellite images confirmed that two of these vessels departed from the Vostochny port for the North Korean port of Chongjin, where they most likely unloaded. The vessels we've seen at Russian terminals are some of the largest capacity vessels in North Korea's fleet, and the vessels are continually sailing in and out of the port, said Royal United Services Institute researcher Joseph Byrne. The shipments follow North Korea's shipment of thousands of ammunition containers to Russia since last August, which military experts say has had a significant impact on the course of Moscow's war in Ukraine. According to RUSI, the Vostochny port also served as a hub for Russian ships allegedly involved in cross-border arms trade. What we can see now is a clear arms for oil bartering arrangement in open contravention of sanctions that Russian President Vladimir Putin signed off on personally, Griffiths said. The apparent oil for arms trade comes at a time when Western diplomats are rushing to keep a UN panel that monitors North Korean sanctions in place, fearing that Russia will veto the body's mandate extension. Russian missile passed over Poland, Poles refused to shoot it down so as not to endanger people. Lieutenant General Jacek Gorizowski, spokesperson for the Operational Command of the Armed Forces of Poland, has explained that a Russian missile that entered Polish airspace on the night of the 23rd to the 24th of March was not downed because the Polish military realized that it would leave Poland's airspace and an attempt to down it would have put civilians at risk. Gorizowski explained that the decision not to shoot down the missile was taken by the commander of the Armed Forces Operational Command. The decision was based on the information from our radar systems. The assessment of the missile's trajectory, speed and altitude showed that it would leave our airspace, he added. He added that an attempt to down the missile would have posed a greater risk for locals. A missile weighs over two tons, 400 kilograms of which is the payload. After the missile had been downed, missile debris would have fallen on our territory. The remains of the effector used to down it would also have landed there, he explained. Gorizowski noted that if the missile had flown deeper into Poland, a decision to down it using pairs of F-16 fighter jets may have been taken. It is the operational commander who assesses the situation and is authorized to make that decision. On the other hand, even after receiving permission to down a missile, a fighter jet pilot may decide not to do it if there is a risk that debris could fall on a hospital or a school. The location of the missile's landing site is also important in making the decision, he explained. Gorizowski added that Russia deliberately maneuvers its missiles in such a way that they circle round and strike targets in Ukraine from the west. The Ukrainian air defense has realized that most Russian missiles come from the east or north. The defenders are less likely to expect an attack from the west, he said. On the 24th of March, Polish airspace was violated by a maneuvering missile launched from a long-range Russian warplane. The missile entered Polish airspace near the village of Osadow in the Lublin Voivodship and remained there for 39 seconds. Thank you.